There's not to make reply, there's not to reason why, there's but to do and die. And I would imagine most of you have probably heard those words from Lord Alfred Tennyson's The Charge of the Light Brigade. And to understand why his words in this poem still resonate with us 160 years after he has written this poem, we need to understand the context of the war he wrote it over. This poem was, is a narrative poem of a famed charge of a light cavalry unit during the Crimean War, which was a full decade before the Civil War. And the context of this war we need to understand is that this laid the groundwork foundations for World War I. It was the first true media war, and I'll expand on that later. And the Victoria Cross, Britain's highest honor, which is the precedent for our Medal of Honor, was created from this war. And with this context, we understand the first five stanzas of this narrative poem, which are just telling history. But then the final stanza gives us the poem's message. And the message from this poem is very similar to Pericles' funeral oration, that one, nothing we say or do can ever diminish the heroics of men that sacrifice themselves for their country. And to properly honor these men, a nation needs to continually to move forward. So how, going into the foundations of World War I, the war broke out in 1854 uh, after some conflict, uh, some conflict between France and Russia over some uh, religious disputes going on in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Russia was hoping because of the Napoleonic Wars uh, 30 years earlier that England and Prussia would join them to fight French aggression again. However, this was not the case. They saw Russia as the aggressor, therefore they joined the French side. And after two years, we ended up with the Treaty of Paris where Russia lost a lot of territory. The Ottoman Empire um, uh, had to institute a ton of reforms. Austria lost a lot of influence in Europe. And this basically forced the alliances that would one day be the sides that would determine World War I. And moving from there into the first media war, this is the first time reporters were ever embedded in military units and they would constantly report on victories, defeats, uh, casualty statistics, and were able to report these back home. And through these reports were how Tennyson was able to actually write this poem. He, re uh, he read a report in a in the British Times, which allowed him to actually talk about this light cavalry unit that engaged a Russian artillery unit. And because it was the first media war, it was also how the American Civil War was as brutal as it was. We sent military strategists over there. They compiled a massive report called The Art of War in Europe, and this guided almost all of our tactics, our use of massive artillery, which was why the casualties in the Civil War were so high. And finally, the final piece, the Victoria Cross, which, much like our Medal of Honor, is a lasting legacy of heroics. We honor our men who do amazing sacrifices for our nation, or in this case, the British nation, with the Victoria Cross through this medal. And it was created from this war, and every Victoria Cross today is still cut from a piece of metal from a captured Russian gun from the Crimean War. So every single medal from 1854 to now is still cut from that same gun, which goes along with the whole honor and charge of the Light Brigade being this unit, despite mixed orders, despite overwhelming odds, continued their attack on a Russian uh, artillery unit. But that's just the first five stanzas. The sixth stanza, which I will read to you now, when can their glory fade? Oh, the wild charge they made. All the world wondered, honor the charge they made. Honor the Light Brigade, Noble 600. This is where we get Tennyson's message of we need to, uh, with the first two lines specifically, is the that we cannot diminish the sacrifices of these men. With when can their glory fade is the question he's asking. Can their glory ever fade? Can these men ever, can their sacrifice ever be diminished? And with the next line, Oh, the wild charge they made is basically a, a response to that question. It cannot. The, the glory of that charge is always something that we can remember, and it is immortalized in this poem. And then the last four lines, all the world wondered, honor the charge they made, honor the Light Brigade, Noble 600, is that for their sacrifice for their nation of Great Britain, we need to move forward to properly honor them, just like they had to keep moving forward under fire uh, from the Russian artillery position. So in the end with Tennyson's work here, which is claimed to be his most famous piece, 
is why it resonates with us today is because we understand the context that it set up World War I, it was the first media war and influenced war forever, uh, as well as the heroics of this war immortalizing the Victoria Cross, but we get from this final stanza the message of that we can never diminish the sacrifices of men who sacrifice themselves for their nations, and if we, must, if we want to honor them properly, we need to continue to move forward just like they did. Thank you.